Hey everybody, welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I almost said welcome back to, to Meg McCavern. You know, because we're all in the cavern together. All right. of us. Actually, that's a You're fun MD fact. You're MDFNB, he's Goosed, and I'm the one that doesn't matter in the story. Yeah. Oh, hey, look, Mawile. Um, I, I just did a challenge with that that isn't up yet. In fact, this will probably go up before that goes up, right? Hey, everyone, look forward to the Mawile run. Um... Yeah, fun fact, um, all of the random Pokemon that we're making fun- <laughs> Oh, hey, look at the stairs! <laughs> I was just walking towards, uh, the Magmar. Yeah, all these random Pokemon that- Again? This happens every now and then. Okay. Well, we're really lucking out. Um, sorry, the joke I keep trying to get out is that, uh, every- every random Pokemon we run into and have to make faint in these dungeons are actually the viewers. Right. E each one is named after one of you. The names are just invisible. <laughs> and whenever we catch a po- well, I guess you don't really catch a Pokemon. Whenever a Pokemon joins our team- Oh, right, Wondertale doesn't work on that. Whenever a Pokemon joins our team and we name them, you have to change your username to that. Does YouTube even allow that? Uh... Now that uh, Google Plus is gone? I don't know. No idea. I've long since thought about change. Oh, hey, Silver Spike. Who's throwing that at us? Macargo. They do that? Yeah. If what they have them. Asshole. Um. Oh, right. They picked those up. Are those going to be like individual things in here or? No, nope. we're good. They stack. Oh, th thank God. Wait, hold on. What is this again? Prevent sleep. Oh. It also prevents yawning. <laughs> I wish I could have an item that prevents yawning. Oh my god. Just a held item? Yeah. Just to, you know, like, hold when I'm getting tired and I'm, I still have work to do. <gasps> Cringe! Oh my god, that was unnecessary. Gotta save those razor leaves for when Wedda Goose fights the boss for us. Actually, you know what, now that I say it, how many does he have left? Zero! Okay. Hmm. -mm. Uh, I guess secret power it is for now. Good thing I checked. Gold ribbon. That, that didn't does look nothing like a when gold equipped. ribbon at all. Oh. It does, it does nothing when equipped, but it sells for 2,000 Poké Dollars. Oh. Well, not that money's been much of an issue, but I mean, if I have room, I guess I'll keep it for now. Weird that they use the same icon as, like, bands and stuff. Because it technically is a band. I guess, yeah. But, yeah, its other purpose is that you can sell it for a lot. Wow, they're only hitting for three. It feels so wrong that the Rhydon is hitting for three. Grimer Ooh. picked up Silver Gummy. Silver, silver Steel? Yes. Okay. Man, we are reason through this place. Oh my god, right when I say it. No, just let me run to the stairs. I have a, a, a indeterminate boss to fight. Probably Groudon. I would assume Groudon's either this or the final boss. Actually, is the final boss going to be Gengar? Mmm. Mmm. But we beat up Gengar really easily early in the game. He can't be the final boss. He's too lame. Maybe, maybe he's maybe like he the rival. Up. Maybe Gengar is the spirit of a rival that died from one of the other games. It works out. Like, you fought Blue multiple times, and he was the final boss in Gen 1. Yeah. Man! All right, you you do this, what a goose. Oh, I can't even watch the fight now. Yeah, you take it out. Thank you. That sucked. How many power points do I have left? Not many. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> what a goose ran off somewhere. It's fine. He'll be able to survive. He's he's having his own adventure. He's always been he's always been having his own adventure. Yeah, I know, right? It's so nice that the Epsil behind me can quick attack past me. It's really convenient. Yeah. Uh, doesn't seem to dislike it. IQ went up somewhat. Something feels so backhanded about IQ went up somewhat. You're kinda smarter. Yeah, it's like a condescending thing on your report card. <laughs> I mean, think, th 
Really, really, if you want to think about it, you ate a jelly bean and now you're smarter somehow. Yeah. Yeah, it's almost like the text of the game doesn't believe it. And can you blame it? Somehow you're smarter by eating a jelly bean? Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, <laughs> whatever you say, man. <laughs> oh my god, that grimer looks amazing. It's pretty good. Turn back around, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Uh, I might have my thumbnail with that. Yeah. That might be a display picture right there. That is an undignified Grimer. Not first that I can person, think of a dignified first one. First person on Twitter to make that their, uh, their icon, I will retweet your tweet. There you go. I Everybody I was gonna say, maybe in, uh, in Grimer culture, maybe that uh, appearance of the Grimer is like an indicator for high class or something? Maybe. A very sophisticated gentleman. I am actually not much of a scholar when it comes to um, cu the culture of Grimers. So you know what? Maybe this not is just lost are. on me. Exactly. I actually like Grimer too. <laughs> Maybe if we go on Bulbapedia and read the all the entries for the trivia of Grimer, it'll it'll say that when they look like complete fucking idiots, that actually means that they're rich aristocrats. It uh, absolutely won't. Yeah, it's unlikely. We would have it's to edit the page. <laughs> yeah, maybe if someone vandalized it, then it would say that. <laughs> oh no, what is this, Gen 1? Rhydon is using like tail whip at the end of the game? You know what also feels weird is that it's it's near the end of the main story and I'm level 27 now. That feels like a very low level for end of game RPG. Oh wow, they both leveled. Yes, I leveled up. I like how in canon like they're saying I leveled up. Does that mean that in Pokemon like that's that's actually just a thing? Oh. I can't squeeze through that? No way? All right. No. I know I grind off of killing mosquitoes All in real life. All the time, <laughs> yeah. Oh God, the weather is finally getting nice enough that we can like go outside and not hate our lives. Um, but now the mosquitoes are coming out. And so, you know, the not hating our lives going outside part is, is marginal. Okay, I just found a disturbing fact about Grimer, and it would be like the most populated Pokemon on the planet. Okay. In Pokemon Gold, its its description of the Pokedex is as it moves, it loses bits of its body, which form new Grimer. Oh my God, that Onix is huge! Yep. <laughs> Whoa! Oh wow, we're only hitting nine. How much? Oh yeah, did he's got he? high defense. Oh, yeah, and I'm using a pretty shit move too. tackle. It's uh, hitting 22. This is the strongest thing we fought in a while. Could I offer a suggestion? Yes. Uh, go into your items. Uh, and yes. instead of setting the gravel rocks, set the iron thorn or silver spike. OK, and then you think use gravel them rock as your is just attack. too weak to, to bother with anymore. Not too weak, like it's reliable 20 damage, but the Iron Thorn and Silver Spike will do basic attack damage. So like if you had Payday or Scratch or something, oh, Iron okay. Thorn is probably going to be doing equivalent damage. Okay. Now, is this damage in any way scaled based on mine? Yeah, the Thorns and Spikes will scale based on your own damage. Okay. So Graveler Rock is just a set, uh, what was it, 20? 20, yep. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, whoa. Oh, disable became paralyzed. So you could still throw items while you're paralyzed. Right. Yeah. For some reason, I leveled up. I feel empowered to fight disasters. <laughs> I'm going to go beat up that hurricane. I'm going to go okay. beat up the hurricane. Here Grimer's I just got, am. Grimer's just got a lot of really hurricane. good descriptions. Sorry, what like, about Grimer? Grimer's got a lot of really good descriptions just of what it is throughout the games. Like, Lay them on I've me. Read, I've read through a few of them. Like in uh, Pokemon Moon. Oh, fuck. <laughs> the description is that the crystals on Grimer's body are lumps of toxins. 
Oh. If they fall off, lethal poison leaks out. Lethal. <laughs> All right. It's just now, deadly. <laughs> I oh stamina band. Do Prevents I want your that? belly from going down as fast. Oh, that doesn't sound as good as anything. Um, how do I check my belly again? The uh, thirty-seven. Do you think I need an apple? Not yet. All right. You're only a few floors off from the halfway point as well. What well, Pokemon do you think have the weirdest Pokédex entries? I, I shouldn't say uh, halfway point, but it, either way, um, I guess the amorphous kinds of Pokemon. <laughs> the wastewater coming from factories is clean these days, so Grimer have nothing to eat. Oh, that's sad. They're said to be on the verge of extinction. Wait, oh. but when they move around, they make more Grimer. Yeah. How can they be on the verge of extinction? <laughs> All right, now eat that floor food real quick. How does the jelly bean not just melt into a little puddle of sugar like this deep into a magma cavern? How do you not melt into a puddle of sugar? Yeah, fair. <laughs> this deep into a volcano. <laughs> like, you're in a volcano. One of the Pokemon is actually a, just like a, like a bunch of leaves. Aren't gummies made out of like... Uh, gelled up animal product. Oh, um, depending, yeah. Yeah, I think it can be like hooves or no, that's glue, isn't it? Hmm. Uh, something of that's like made of something off of a pig. Don't try throwing an mm. item while uh, someone's in front of you if you have the iron thorn equipped because it'll just okay. hit your per your uh, <laughs> partner in front. But that yeah, would kill be your partner. funny. Gra Gravel rock could still be thrown here, but it's not currently your set thing. Oh, okay. Let me just uh, item graveler rock throw. Did I hit him? No, I missed. Nope. <laughs> what a goose took no damage. Let me try that one again. Ha! Hey! And I got a rock back. As if I'm gonna run out. Oh, over here. Man, I wouldn't mind catching an onyx though. I do really like onyx. So I, I feel like on the topic of um, funny Pokédex entries or weird Pokédex entries or stuff like that. Throw a thorn from where you're standing. Yeah. Uh, the obvious ones I think that come to mind are like, everyone knows Drifloon's got some fucked up ones about kidnapping kids. Drowsy yeah. and Hypno have some weird ones. Yeah, Yawn Mask. Same vibe. Yawn Mask has the sad one. Yeah, it's like ghost ones, I feel like, they are the obvious ones for, like, sad and fucked up ones. Cubone, like, mother dying stuff. But, like, what are the weird ones that no one talks about? Like, what are the Pokédex entries for Yanma? I don't know. I've got no clue. Don't think I've ever looked it up. Uh, I have Cacturns, which is, after spending thousands of years in the harsh desert, its blood transformed into the same substance as sand. What? Uh, it is nocturnal, so it hunts at night. <laughs> what does it hunt? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, we, we know where it creepy. hunts. Um, so its blood is made of sand. Oh, oh, Jesus. Okay, well, uh, I saw a razor leaf go off there, so yeah, that's a power point. Your back. back. Maybe I should keep my distance. How much does this do? 22. That's not a ton. Critical hit, not very effective, damn. Um, wow, these guys actually are hitting Wadagoo's hard. Oh, not I as hard as back. that. <laughs> Wadagoo's, get out of there, you're getting hit by Screech. Oh, thank God. Uh, oh, I have a music? Pokedex entry that Go I've always uh, found interesting. Cryogonal. Uh, they are composed of ice crystals. They capture prey with chains of ice, freezing the prey at negative 148 degrees Fahrenheit. So th they freeze their prey to death, or? Yeah, this implies that the snowflake is a creature that then eats other creatures. Oh. Yeah, there's a lot of implication that, that, oh, that was a very quick reprise. Um, there's, uh, a lot of implication in a lot of Pokemon that like they hunt something and they eat something, but I feel like it's never clarified what any of them eat. 
Am I crazy? Like, are there there aren't regular animals in Pokemon, right? I can't think of as any. As far as we know, outside of Generation One anime, probably there have been no instances of other animals existing besides Pokemon. Yeah, like in in Gen One, didn't they have people eat meat sometimes? But then that brings up the question of like, what the fuck meat is that? Is that human yeah. meat? <laughs> um, Pidgey meat. You're your question about Yanma, uh, pretty much all of its Poke Pokedex entries are either about <gasps> how it flaps its wings really fast or that it can see 360 degrees around it. So a dragonfly. I, yeah. <laughs> it's telling you that it is a dragonfly. Yeah, not the <laughs> most interesting. I can see why no one talks about that one. <laughs> hey, are you okay? I thought when I thought when these guys get get knocked out, they teleport back to town. Isn't that how it works when you're a rescue team? No, they're out of belly, so they they need oh. to stand still. Otherwise, they're going to take damage every step. Oh, they're just really hungry. Well, you know what? They should they should s <laughs> they should send uh, send in requests back on the belt bulletin board for I'm hungry. Bring me an apple. <laughs> Wait, I just found the greatest Pokemon of all time, and he's on the ground right there. Uh, what is it? Tyranitar. Tyranitar is the greatest Pokemon ever. Why? Pokemon Heart Gold. Its body can't be harmed by any sort of attack. Oh. So it is very eager to make challenges against enemies. Wait, what e e eager to make challenges? What is he, me? That's hilarious, too, <laughs> because it's quad weak to fighting types. So if it challenges yeah. things to a fight and then gets punched, <gasps> it goes down immediately. No, but oh it's my God. apparently its body can't be harmed by any no. sort of attacks. Can't Unless it's a very fast anything. punch. You see, that's the thing. <laughs> like, that's how he, he gets taken down from the inside because he's hungry. What? He already predicted this shit. See, ah, we're, see I'm smart. We're, I didn't even know that. We're digging through the layers here. We're getting the deep lore of Pokemon. See, everybody oh. watching this, when you were a kid and you played this, you probably just thought they got beaten up. But now we have confirmed from Heart Gold that that Tyranitar is just real hungry. <laughs> also, Someone give me super thanks for that little nugget. <laughs> also, Absol should have been able to detect him because Pokemon Ultra Moon, this Pokemon is a mobile disaster, leaving mountains <laughs> crumbled and houses destroyed in its wake. <laughs> a mobile disaster <laughs> is like my favorite put down ever now. I've got to use that. <laughs> Bro, you are a mobile disaster. <laughs> Fucking disaster on wheels over here. <laughs> we challenged Groudon and he, he ate our lunch and wiped <laughs> Groudon. We, we, it crushed us. I'm so hungry. That's right. What happened to Alakazam? Where's Alakazam? Well, he has teleport, so he left. Still battling Groudon. Ultra, ultra moon for Alakazam. If it trusts someone deeply, it will let them have one of its spoons. Anything you eat with the spoon is apparently delicious. That is amazing lore. <laughs> I did not know that. I'm best friends with my Alakazam, and he gave me a spoon. And then I Man. eat with that spoon. I eat everything with that spoon. Oh my <laughs> god. I So there was a video. I, I guessed it on someone's channel a while back. And it was like he was collecting a bunch of feedback from YouTubers on like, hey, if you were in a zombie apocalypse and you could have six Pokemon, what would be your optimal team for, for <laughs> zombie survival? 100%. If I knew this, I would have had Alakazam on my team so that all my food tastes good, even if I Yo. cook it like shit. <laughs> You're like, damn it, I only have a can of cat food. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, the best cat food I've ever had. <laughs> and hopefully the only. Man, you gotta try this. It's so good. They're like, no, that's disgusting. Stay back. Literally, where is Groudon? He's, He's in on the ground. Dealing. This opponent is no laughing matter. Here it comes. It. That's so rude. Well, to be fair, Groudon is genderless. I meant it more like, hey, he, he right there, you know? Well, yeah, all the legendaries are genderless, aren't they? Except for a couple of them, like Latios and Latios. Oh, yeah, that's true. I didn't think about that. Alexam is gone. I've been saying it the whole game. He's got teleport. Yeah, he Maybe. has teleport. Yeah, like this is like the Abril move, right? Is teleport. That's his whole shtick. 
Or I guess spoon in this case. <laughs> MDF and B, let's do our best. We just right, get emulated. Oh, weather sunny. Okay, okay. Let's take a moment here and let's uh, let's start assessing what moves we want to use and everything. First of all, secret power probably off. Yeah. Also, keep in mind Bulbasaur is still on a go after foes tactic. Mm hmm. I think I want to change that so that he fights from a range well possible. Do you think Leech Seed is worth it, or do you think it'll be too weak? Maybe have it on for, like, the first instance he uses it, but then take it off. Sure. Leech Seed's melee range, right? Yep. Okay, I'll stick with Razor Leaf at least until it gets close enough. Is there any point in Sweet Scent? M maybe once? Mm, uh, well, if you turn it on now, you can at least get some evasion down so that Razor Leaf can hit more reliably. That's a good point. And Absol, you got that Leer Scratch, I'm fine with that. You got your Quick Attack, that's got some range. Bite could get Cringe. I think I'm okay with all of that. He won't um, get closer unless you tell him to move forward, though, so keep right. that in mind. Yeah. Okay, Wadagoo's um, tactics. Let's go together, I'm guessing? Or keep your distance? Keep your distance sounds good. Yeah, I think I actually or want him to Or avoid the first the hit, maybe. How does this one work? We'll try to avoid being attacked first. If a foe comes close, it will attack. Mm, Keep your what's distance. The, what's this one? See, this Wild doesn't moving. even imply that he's aggressive. I want him to be like a ranged attacker in this fight. Yeah. Uh, wait there? Um. Wait there might get him to just stand there. What is go the other way? It'll just run around on its own, okay. And what does get away uh, mean? In a rush to flee, the Pokemon will not be able to use any items. Run away no matter what, okay. Oh, that doesn't help. Um, I guess keep distance and Absol. Absol's Absol, just following me and I think that's fine. Well, he's gonna I'm, stay behind you. Uh, yeah. So if Groudon walks up to you right now, for example, uh, Absol will only ever be behind you. So leer, scratch, bite, none of those will work. Yeah. You'll want him to be like diat, or I guess horizontal to you. So one way you can do that is tell him right now on this turn to go after foes, and then Ooh, the next turn yeah. turn it off so that he steps forward a little bit. Good idea. Okay, uh, go after foes, and I might just now hold on. What's the range on Thunderbolt? It's the square in front of you. Damn. Okay. Shockwave hits uh, straight ahead. I guess I may as well just shockwave. Or throw a thorn. Okay, remember, 12 uh, damage right ground. Duh. He's ground, um, yeah. Yeah, okay. Now, I think the silver spikes are probably my go-to for this then. Um, he I'm did... surprised Absol hasn't tried moving yet. Yeah. 14, that was not anymore, Oof. and Absol still hasn't moved. Um, Grab a rock then, because that'll at least do 20. That's true. Whoops. Oh, I was trying to get rid of that text box. Okay, now should I back off? Mm, eh? No. Okay. Uh oh. Hmm. Okay, okay, we can we can tell uh what a goose. Keep well he's told to keep your distance, so hopefully he'll be smart enough this turn to move his ass. Uh mm. Graveler Rock could hit from here, right? It can it's got like a little cone it goes in. I don't think Graveler Rock is the best move to use going forward in this fight. Yeah. I think you need to be up close and personal. Let what a goose he's not attacking for some reason, which is very bad. Yeah, Turn on his uh, tactic what the to, fuck is to he let's doing? go together. Yeah. I don't know why he hasn't been attacking at all. Uh, Probably because keep your distance was the one that was selected that might have some inherent, like, uh, don't attack for He's a also yeah. almost dead. Yeah, yeah he give is. him an Oran Berry. Do we have any? We yeah, do. We How do I, is it give? Throw it. And then throw, throw it at him. Okay. Yay. He's not dead. Okay, sweet set. That's fine. Ooh, Ooh four we damage. are. We're not hitting hard, but you know what? He's not hitting crazy hard either. Use what I bite am gonna as do. much as you can. Yes. 
I do want him to get the Leech Seed on it now. Now that I know but he's not dealing tons of damage. On a turn that he cringes, I want you to use Payday to just hit him with a stronger yeah. move than Bite. That was the wrong button. <laughs> hey, super okay. effective, at least there's that. comments are gonna be furious. Yep. It's okay, I'm only at the end of the game and still figuring out how to play. Okay, hang on. Uh, he's not uh, doing much. Hang on, uh, turn on the exclusive move user IQ skill on Bulbasaur. Oh, right, I forgot we don't have that one on. God, there's so much juggling of these IQ skills. Um, Usually I like to play the game with a specific set of skills in mind for the AI. Uh, there we go. So I don't usually have to juggle a lot of things, but... Okay, now I'm within enough... Uh, I've got enough damage on me that I could die, so I think I'm just gonna yeah, need a barrier. Yeah, you're in kill range. Yeah. Um, God, I wish Absol would move the fuck up and stop with quick attack and hey, start with bite. Hey, Bulbasaur. Why did you yeah. not attack Bulbasaur? God, I don't know what he's doing. Okay, Leech Seed is off again now that he's already got that enabled. Um, or I hope he him. didn't attack just because he saw that it was Leech Seeded. Oh God, do you think? Maybe. Okay. Um, what do I have Absalon? Uh, go after foes. I really wish he would move up and go for bite. Could, I could turn off quick attack, right? Then he would move up. Uh, try it. Yeah, we're gonna try. Up. He might just sit there and do nothing, though. God, I hope he doesn't do nothing. <laughs> Please cringe. Woo! Critical hit. Oh, what an. Oh, God. Okay, now if I walk into him, he'll swap spots with me, right? I'm doing it. <laughs> Oh, Absol was slowed. Okay, I hope that- Why is he still not attacking? What the hell? I don't know. Okay, no, yeah, he should attack after this. I hope- He didn't. Oh, man, okay, maybe it's because he was slowed? Yes, that's probably the reason, okay. Okay, yeah, maybe he just, like, lost a turn in terms of speed, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's probably it, never mind. God, I hope that's all it is. <laughs> Okay, you know what? That that wasn't that bad. I was panicking for nothing. That was a million times easier than Moltres. I don't re remember if Groudon actually has the ability to what Earthquake the you. Fuck? What if he the? does, that would probably have made this fight ten times as hard. Wow. Yeah, Groudon, like, what's even the most, the strongest thing he did? Like, 26 damage? Yeah. Let that me go was check, not actually. Bad. Look, it's Alakazam, Charizard, and Tyranitar, too! Yeah, Tyranitar, how's that whole doesn't get damaged by anything doing for you? Did you do it, Groudon? <laughs> we must get out immediately. Yeah, all we did was, like, knock him down. Will it be okay? Do we give a shit if it's okay or not? We tried to kill it. Your concern is unneeded. It'll awaken soon enough. We don't want it to awaken. It's doing the earthquakes, right? I mean, based oh, on yeah. its description, if we did enough damage to it, it should sleep for... Oh, it just says a long time. Oh. The Groudon <laughs> did have the ability to use earthquake. He just didn't do it. Wow, we're really fucking lucky he didn't, because I can't mm -hmm. imagine how rough that would have been. <laughs> oh, we've been going for plenty of time. Oh, on the next episode, everybody, which is already up in the playlist right now, if you're watching this, I should have said that at the start of the episode. God damn it. Yeah, nobody's on the here. next episode, uh, Groudon immediately wakes up, does Earthquake, and we all die. Until next time, oh damn.